3-2 pitch. Strike three called, and Punto slams his helmet down. You gotta be kidding me. And that's how the ball game ends on a very questionable strike three call. And Bob Melvin is chewing on James Hoy big time. And he should. And what James Hoy ought to do is just go into his tunnel and go to his locker room. He does again, kicks away. Pagan toward third, the throw. Got him. The ball hit the dirt, but on the bounce, Escobar able to get it. He applies the tag. Pagan and Mike Quaddy arguing, and here's Lou. This could be the yep, one. There it is, number one, the first ejection as a Cubs manager for Lou Pinella, and he is really letting Mark Wegner have it. Just kicked dirt on him. I don't think anybody's surprised that he picked a day to do it. Bruce Fremming getting in the way. He just kicked the hat. Strike three called two down. Rayburn has words with home plate umpire Ron Culpa as he departs. Stay tuned for Indians Live. Here comes Terry Francona. He's been thrown out of the game. He did not like the fact that Ron Culpa waved him away. Very dismissive. And he get, and that's what got him. You see Terry. Yo, man, is he fired up. Ron Culpa, Terry feeling that was very disrespectful the way he just sort of waved his hand off as if to dismiss him. And Terry Francona is absolutely blown his stack. This is a lot of frustration coming out in the Indians manager over the way his team has played and he didn't care for the way Culpa treated him right there. By the first base and Ricky is absolutely incensed and justifiably so. You got a man much closer to the play in Ramon De Jesus. He made no signal with Avi. It was Paul Ello from probably 110 feet away who decided to ring him despite the fact that Avi's back was to Emil. And that's one of those where you just you got to swallow the whistle and let him say what he's going to say. And Ricky is giving that to Paul Emmel, and rightfully so. And Ricky undoubtedly given the boot also. Frustration starting to boil over here for the Tigers. Doug Eddings expanding the zone a little bit. Nick Castellanos for the second pitch in a row. Thinks he gets jobbed a little bit. Brad Osmus is tossed from the game. He's uh, there he goes. He gets him. Brad's going to come out and uh, give his piece. He doesn't believe he can see the plate. You can tell Brad very well. The first base umpire has McClendon steamed. He turned and whipped his cap towards second base. It's still sitting on the grass. And now McClendon walks back. He's going to pick up first base a la Lou Pinella. And he's walking away with the first base bag. But this time he doesn't turn and throw it, at least not yet. McClendon walking with the first base bag underneath his left arm. He just now has crossed the third baseline, and I guess he's just going to walk off with it. To the delight of this crowd, McClendon marches down the dugout steps with first base and now whips it. Wait a minute, huh? here we go. And he is thrown out. And Joe is gesturing that ball was on the ground. There always seems to be fun when Laz Diaz is involved. And, and you know what, Michael? That pitch was a ball, definitely, as we saw the replay. And Joe Girardi knows his team has not been hitting with runners in scoring position. So he wants every edge he could get for his team when they're hitting. He wants the count to be 2-0 and oh instead of 1-1. One and one. Boy, is Joe fired up right now. Yeah, you know what? And it's, we've seen managers do this in the past to fire their team up and show them how much it means to the manager to win ball games. And he got his money's worth, I'll say that. That is about as angry as I've ever seen Joe Girardi.
Here's the call. He's safe. Game's going to change from this day on. And mark down the date, July 31st, 2014. Mike Redman right now rips his shirt off, throws his hat. I feel like doing the same thing. A major league catcher himself, Redman. Get your money's worth, Red. Get your money's worth. Let's see if it hit him a closer look. No, it looks like it uh, passed cleanly. Just a matter of a, a fastball from a short distance, and Green is picking up emotionally here on his argument that he has been tossed. This will be the second time the young manager has been ejected this season. And he's fighting for a couple of runs here. That's a very big call in the game. Mm -hmm. If he's out for running outside that lane, then the inning's over and it's still 4 nothing. Bill Miller is the crew chief.